Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to do a little bit of troubleshooting on a PC. Somebody bought, somebody brought me, uh, saying that it just wouldn't turn on. Nothing was happening, and that kind of first thing I thought of was power supply. So that's where I'm starting, and we're going to go from there, see what happens, and hopefully I can resolve the issue and everything will be good. So here we go. Okay, hey, so this is the computer I'm going to be uh, fixing, or at least checking out, trying to find out why it's not working. Um, they disconnected the video card. Okay, you got the, the couple of cables here, so I know they took out one. They've got this graphics card in the wrong slot. So I'm not sure why that has happened, because it should be up here. Um, and I noticed a couple of SATA cables are disconnected. Um, not exactly sure what all is going on here, um, but one thing I know they did tell me uh, is that the power supply may be an issue um, simply because they weren't getting any power, nothing was working. So, first thing I'm going to do, well, instead of like trying to fire it up or anything like that, I'm going to disconnect the 8 pin per power, the 24 pin, I'm going to put it on my battery tester and see what that tells me. See if it tells me it's actually working or not um, to determine if that is the initial problem. So I'm going to check that first and see what happens. Okay, so I've powered the system up. I've taken the 24 pin, plugged it in, and the 8 pin per power. So all I'm going to do is power on my tester. And I got this from Thermaltake. And I'm going to get some readouts down here. And that's going to tell me if the power supply itself is kaput. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's just put it so I can read it. Turn the power supply, of course, on. And that may start it by itself, actually, just, just turning it on. So let's just see if I can get that up here. Okay. We're reading. Nope, everything is coming up is, is good. All the readings are within the normal range. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. So, no, everything is running, powering up from that point of view. So, the next thing is going to be um, putting everything back and then firing up the system. So, what my next initial thought is, is if it starts off running, the water cooler, which has been in there for quite some time, um, it's possible, it could be overheating, but I can't gauge it on that for sure because there's cables that are disconnected. So... I'm going to have to find out. We're going to have to hook everything back up now and then try it again. But the power supply is testing as being okay. Okay, so what I've done is hooked the power back up after I reconnected. This cable I noticed was not in. I don't know if I missed that in the beginning or not. I don't think so, but uh, anyway, I moved the gravity card back up to the slot it should be in, although it should still work down there. Um, I'm going to power it up and see what happens. And... Uh, if it doesn't power up at that point, it could still be the fault of the um, power supply, although I doubt it, because it did test as being okay. Or the next thing I'll have to check is the water cooler, because um, it's been in there for a while, and maybe it's on its last legs. So I'll have to check temps and stuff like that to make sure that those are okay. So I'm going to fire it up. And let's see if I get anything to display here. No. Just in case I'm wrong, the monitor actually on. Yep, it's on. Could it be the graphics card, maybe? Because I'm not getting a display. And if everything is powered up, which it seems to be, man, I'm, I'm tempted to lean toward... Now, they, they obviously disconnected a graphics card here. So I might see if I got one to put in there and just see uh, what happens when I do that. Because maybe it's actually working, because it does, definitely sounds like it's working. Uh, but uh, the graphics card has just failed. So I'm going to replace it, and then we're going to go from there. Okay, so one thing I did do is I replaced it. I have a GTX 770 that's usually just for testing. Uh, so it fits this purpose perfectly. But I've got the PCIe cables plugged in for power. And as soon as I turned it back on, I'm powering it off every time I do one of these tests, by the way. Um, I got the signal sent to the monitor right away, which is a better indicator 
than what the other one did. In fact, the other one doesn't even need flour. It draws it directly from the motherboard. And um, I don't know, I might have to test that separately to see if there's a problem with that on another test system that I've got to see if the graphics card is in fact just failed. But we're going to turn it on again and see if I get anything and see if that could have been the problem. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Now this is an Intel system from a while back. It's an i7-7700K. I'm still getting no display. Hmm. Interesting. So, then, but the system is not powering down. If the CPU was overheating, it would shut down. So, I'm going to have to look and see now if I can see any faults on the motherboard itself. Because I am seeing a couple of lights. And I'm going to have to check and see what they actually are. Okay, so one thing I wanted to do, even though I've tested the power supply before I do anything else, so I've taken the 8-pin uh, CPU power and the 24-pin, hooked it up to power the system um, to see what's going on. So let's see what happens. Power, power supply is on. And let's turn it on and see what happens. So I don't know what that is. almost sounds like there's something hitting a fan. Is there something? Something touching the fan. So something is coming from here. The noise is coming from here. So I'm assuming the water cooler is gone because I don't know what that noise is. Although, yeah, I'm gonna have to double. I'm gonna have to take this cover off and check the fans in the front. And make sure nothing is uh, interacting with them. The sound is gone. I thought it was coming from the water cooler, but obviously something was hitting the fans. And once I moved it a little bit something was pushing it so I can almost see something in here so I'll have to have a better look and uh, this is what happens folks when you don't clean your filter all right when that was in place which sets right there hasn't been cleaned since I sold it to them so clean your filters <laughs> so there was something tucked in here I did find it was rubbing against the fan making that noise heck of a racket however I got a good power supply in there. The other one is obviously good because it, it's still doing the same thing. I did notice there is a light on the motherboard. So that light is giving me a code. I'm going to have to look it up and see what it's telling me is wrong. Um, see if something's gone wrong with the CPU. Although very, very rare. Possibly it could happen. So anyway, on to more troubleshooting. Okay, so a couple more things that I did here. Uh, I left the uh, other power supply, but I don't think that was the issue. In fact, I know it. I know now it was not the issue. Um, the memory. I should have started with that in the first place. Rookie mistake. But when he, when somebody told me it was a power supply, all the issues, I immediately started checking there. I should have started with the memory. Because I went and checked the memory, and they were not seated fully in they were not fully inserted, okay? Once I did that, powered it on, and the system is now working. So I'm gonna show you that right here, just to prove to you it is working. There we go. Everything is up and working as it should. So, note to self, start with the basics, and go from there. A lesson I forgot. So, anyhow, makes this pretty simple. It could have been much worse. I was leaning toward, I want to show you this, just a second. So I was looking at that initially, that light. But all that is is telling me the motherboard is getting power. Nothing else. Okay, so, anyhow, everything's working. The water cooler is perfectly fine. All right. No issues with it. Uh, it's going on four years, I guess, now. Still working great. Ever since the first day it was ever put in. Um, so that's it. Problem has been resolved. So one thing that happened is the memory was not fully inserted. Once I did put that back in place, everything started up, no problem. However, 
That's not where the problems ended. Turns out there's either a problem with one of the memory sticks or one of the slots. So when I tried to reboot it again the second time, it would not start. I have since determined that, again, because it's memory, I put this one stick in here and I'm working my way across and then I'm going to add uh, the memory stick in each slot until I uh, see if it continues to work. So basically my process, process of elimination right now is figuring out what slots work and which ones don't. So since it was in 2 and 4 before and that was the issue, and I know that the first one works, I'm going to move them over one at a time, see what happens, and go from there. But right now I know the system works, which is the big thing. And if I have to only go with one because the motherboard somehow shorted out a memory slot or something like that, then that'll happen. But hopefully I'll sort them all out and we'll get more memory in there and that'll be the end of it. But at least the system is working. How much memory it can take, well, that's to be determined in the end. Okay, so this is something I've never seen happen before, but anyway, the first two slots work fine. Second, you use either the third or fourth memory slots. These two slots on the right, the system just won't start up. Doesn't matter what you do, those two slots cause the system to not boot. Weirdest thing I've seen in like 50 computer builds and 50, many multiple repairs over the years, I've never seen this. But it's still reflecting 16 gigabyte of memory using the first two slots. It works fine. And that's ultimately the 90% solution. Of course, the ultimate solution would be replace the motherboard and get all new parts. But that's not what the client wants to hear. So in this case, problem is solved. Same amount of memory using different slots that you normally would not be recommended to use. But it works, gets the job done. Good to go. All right, everybody. So basically, start with the basics. Just because somebody tells you this is what they think it is doesn't mean that's what it is. So power supply, I'm going to put back in because obviously I believe it works just fine. Um, the one I used to test it with. Um, now, if I put it back in and something changes, well, I'll you know, put it back in the video, but I don't think it will. It tested as being fine, so... I suspect it probably is and shouldn't cause any issues. Um, but start with the basics. Memory was all the way in, but when I pushed on it to make sure, it went in just a little bit. And if it's not fully inserted, that's all it takes for your system not to boot. Found that out the hard way because I took the radiator off. I was going to check that. I was going to check a bunch of stuff. If I checked the memory first, problem would have been solved and that would have been the end of the issue. So, note to self, start with the power supply. That can be where you can start. Test it. I did. It was fine. Should have stopped there. It should have gone to the memory. So, that was next. Uh, CPUs hardly ever fail. They do fail, but it's very rare. So, that would have been like a last-ditch effort. Could have been a motherboard. But, again, these things are a lot more durable today than people think they are. Yes, some companies don't put the effort into them, but for the most part, unless you've done something to it, they don't fail that often. But anyway, if you like the video, hit that like. Show, show me that you actually like watching them. Um, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell so you can see videos as they come up and you get notifications for when they're going to come up. And that join button is there, so if you want to support the channel, go ahead and do it. Much appreciated if you do, not required. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.